Uh, speaking of woods, let's go check in with our friends from Indy Parks. This is so exciting. Speaking of woods. Yeah, Adam and Heidi are here from Eagle Creek Park uh, to tell us what your family can experience at their upcoming Owl Fest event this month. Yes. It's the eighth annual Alpha Owl Fest. Hi, guys. What a celebration. Oh, man, Hello. I'm excited about this. And who do we have here, by the way? This is a barred owl. So this is one of our native owls. The one that's most frequently found in the park is a barred owl. The nice. barred owl, is does the it's unnamed because it is also... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. That is a stuffed owl. We had Dan we had Daniel. Uh, Daniel came in during the tease, and he was like, "Is that owl real?" And I was like, "Well, it's a real stuffed owl." It's a real stuffed owl. We can make owl. it sound real. You can make it sound real. <laughs> You've got sound effects over there? I do. Are these different owl sound effects? They are different owl sound effects. So most people, when they think of an owl, they think of them just hooting. Yes. Um, but the barred owl, people say it's asking you a question. It's asking who cooks for you. So if you listen. I'm holding it up to my mic right now. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? And then the great horned owl yes. is our best hooting owl. That okay. one sounds like this. That's a good hooter right there. <laughs> I was just thinking the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice hooter. And then that's the alarm call, so that one's a little startling. Oh, that'll, yeah, that'll yes. wake you up. I've already learned so much about owls. Yeah, uh, wow. And you can too. Tell us about Owl Fest. What's going on? Sure. Yeah, so I'm with Eagle Creek Park Foundation. We're the uh, primary uh, nonprofit fundraiser for the park, and this is our biggest fundraiser, okay. eight, the eighth annual Owl Fest. So there's going to be lots of ways that you can give back to the park. Uh, there's concessions, there's merchandise, and there's this silent auction with more than a hundred items wow. online that Look you can at donate and help photos. support things like Owl Fest moving forward. Wow, this would be such an incredible educational opportunity. Obviously, we can't help but notice, but there are some mm. things in front of us. Yeah, what there, are we getting into here, are. Heidi? <laughs> so these are owl pellets. Right. Um, so feeling. this is one of the activities you can do if you attend Owl Fest. But we also have them in a kit where you can purchase them to take them home or if you yeah. want to take them and give them to a neighbor or something. So there are coloring pages and stickers and things in the kits. <laughs> so an oh. owl pellet, the best way to start it is actually with your fingers. Just, just, just crumple it up. kind of twisting For it. Anybody that doesn't know what an owl owl pellet is. Yeah. I remember this from school. What is this? So owls are predators. They're out there ho hunting mostly rodents, but they do eat other mm. things. And this is how we find out what they eat. So they don't have the ability to digest the hair, the teeth, the bones, the claws of anything <laughs> that they're eating. <laughs> and over time, that comes back up in the form of a pellet. Yeah. And so yeah. as you break it up, you I, can start I, to I, notice, which actually, if you don't even break yours up, we can look right here. And we already know that your owl ate a rodent because rodents oh, have that teeth. absolutely and oh. rodents have that orange enamel on the front of their teeth that help keep I don't them know nice and sharp I, I so, don't really want it here Let, I think they should see this though uh, I when think you said hair and bones teeth on the front of it like so do you see that it's absolutely. like a little and it is it is a sensory experience oh gosh and so you, no, those will get you. So you have kits that people can take home. Can people do this at Owl Fest? They can absolutely do it at Owl yeah. Fest, but if you purchase a kit, you get some additional things like Ooh. the sticker, the coloring pages, the little raptor card that's a little collector card. And then, as always, you have a cup so you can take home all your little bones all and hair bits. Bones. Yeah, got so like this a, is kind of some of the things you can find. I think I got like a wow. toenail in there. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a small town. It's like a, like a little maybe claw or something. Ooh, I yeah. Didn't break. So I didn't you can realize. start to identify different types of bones, like shoulder blades or ribs. You oh can do jaw bones. This is a full-on skull here. Yeah. Oh wow. I, I, okay. I, I, I thought and I was so, going to be the braver one. Sometimes people are surprised by some of the things you can find in owl pellets. Um, I did a creek exploration program one time where there was a log that went across the creek and we actually found an owl pellet under the log. That's cool. Where a barred owl had been feasting on crayfish or crawdads, whatever you choose to call, call wow. them. Owls so that's eat. how we can find those things out by looking at these owl pellets. That's cool. It's fascinating. It's hands-on <laughs> learning. It really can is. you remind everybody all the details on how they can check this out? Sure. Yes. So besides uh, the dissections and things like that, there's all kinds of activities for the whole family. Yeah. We've got haunted hay rides. We've got guided hikes that we're calling owl prowls. Fun. We've got a, a, a live animal performance uh, with a with a man named Mark Booth who does this incredible performance nice. uh, with, with live birds. Um, and uh, to to attend, they'll be uh, on Saturday and Sunday, the the 21st and 22nd. And actually, because this event has grown so much, we've actually snuck some things in on that Friday, the 20th. 
Amazing. So that's when folks can attend. It's yeah. pretty much all day on Saturday and Sunday. What's great things that Friday night? Awesome fundraiser. Really amazing opportunity for mm -hmm. you to get up close and personal with some beautiful local animals. Eighth annual Owl Festival, the 21st and 20th at Eagle Creek Park. Guys, thanks so much thank for being so here much. today. Absolutely. All right, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, no, was great. So much. It. There's the info to learn more. Coming up next, our friend the Traveling Foodie Guide is back with a list of local dining options for date night, takeout, and family night. You know he always has such great ideas, and he's bringing the energy. We'll be right back.